Good morning guys and welcome to day 22 of my trip through Norway, Sweden and Denmark. Today I'm waking up uh, about an hour outside of Tromsø in northern Norway. This has been my camp spot this night. Pretty nice view going on over there. I woke up at 3.30 uh, this night from my tent being just boiling hot from the sun. So yeah, that's the one disadvantage of the midnight sun, which means that the sun does not set when you um, pass the polar circle for a specific time of the year. Anyway, I got some good sleep eventually anyway. I just opened my <laughs> tent doors to get some ventilation in there. So the plan for today is to go to Tromsø, where I will be going to uh, Eide Motor. Uh, which is the local KDM Husqvarna workshop, motorcycle workshop, because uh, Fendrid right here has some issues with his ABS and traction control and riding modes and cruise control. I discovered yesterday that I can't even use the cruise control anymore, so there's some electronic issues there. I hope that it's just a plug-in and program it and then done kind of situation. But I don't, I don't know very much about this thing, so. We'll see, I guess, but hopefully it's uh, it's done quickly. So yeah, that's pretty much, uh, I'm just gonna have to see how long that takes. I'm gonna, it's about an hour, like I said, to ride into Tromsø. Um, so I'm just gonna head straight over there and then see how long it takes once we get there. And uh, then we'll just have to see after that what, what, what there's time left for. Uh, I'm staying in Tromsø this weekend, so from Thursday to Sunday I'm staying in Tromsø uh, with my boyfriend. Um, so I just have pretty much today and a little bit of tomorrow left, so I won't be riding very far outside of Tromsø this evening. Anyway, although I'm planning to camp, uh, so we'll find a nice camp spot somewhere outside of Tromsø, I guess. So uh, yeah, let's get this day started. Tromsø, it's the little city you can, or not little actually, starting to appear in front of us right now. So I'm gonna find somewhere to pull over and <laughs> get my uh, GPS or my Berlin, Berlin Moto little navigation device going. Because, uh, yeah, I can't without it. It's not worth even worth trying. We also had that went yesterday. So yeah, let's go and find the uh, aid motor. I think it's here. Yes, so we just passed that one. <laughs> awesome. Right here we are. Thank 
gonna explain to you what was up. I'm just gonna have to get on the road first because I can't think and buy at the same time. <laughs> All right. Now that's a bunch of people who know what they're doing. Super, super nice. That was actually a really pretty quick fix. Um, what happened is there's a... Oh, I was going to Google and check what the name of this is. But there was like a cable thingy to the ABS module that um, there's been some moist there because there's something that wasn't tight enough. Uh, and uh, so the, there wasn't a good connection there. So he basically just um, cleaned it up, tightened it, and yeah, that was it. So glad we were, or he was worried that it could possibly be something with the uh, ABL, ABS module itself and that the whole thing had to be changed, uh, ordered from Husqvarna and changed. But luckily that was not, not the case, just had to do some cleaning and tightening. So now my uh, riding modes are back. Let's see if the... Ah! Even the cruise control is back, so everything is back to normal. Cool! Now let's head out of Tromsø. This is one of the famous landmark for Tromsø and it's actually a church or a cathedral. I'm not exactly sure of the English name of it, but uh, in Norwegian, I think it's called Ishavs Cathedral. So yeah, let's get out of the city. I actually have no idea where I'm going. I need to stop and check the map. Who am I trying to fool? All right, guys. I've had some food. I filled the tank. I've uh, located on a map where we're going and got my little navigation device going. That was pretty annoying. Let's shove that one over here. Uh, and now we are on our way to Kvarlei, yeah, or more specifically Sommarei, which is supposed to be super pretty. I think I'm supposed to be in this lane. Now that's a new kind of roadblock. <laughs> Reindeers. Hello guys. <laughs> this close between 8 and 7 or they're letting people pass at 5 that's 30 minutes away oops let's turn off this one before I drain the battery Thirty minutes later, we are on our way, slowly but surely. Okay, so 
there's only room for one car at a time on this bridge. If only everyone just rode motorcycles, how easy would that be? How much room would everyone have in parking lots and everything? That's something to think about, guys. This island is just full of these white sanded beaches, um, turquoise water. Summer Eya actually translates to summer island. I guess when there's sun here, this must be a summer paradise. did I get lucky with this camping. So like you probably saw, I first went to a different camping and it looks kind of dull and crowded. So I decided to check out a different one and jackpot. What a super nice camping and what a nice host. Um, came here on my bi bike, obviously. It was a dumb thing to say. Of course I came here for my bike. Uh, and I thought it was just like for camper vans, but he was like, no problem, come on. We're gonna find you a spot. Started start chatting a little bit and uh, so he offered me and um, I think also a few others to go for a ride around the entire island here in his boat. And he also invited me to, to join in for a sauna and, and swimming in the ocean uh, tonight. So that's, that's kind of interesting and really, really cool. He also fixed the, so that I can have power, electricity and everything. And uh, yeah, super, super nice. And he has so many stories and stuff to tell, so this is going to be a good day, I can tell. And as promised, we did! Halvard, the camping host, took me for a guided tour around most of Somarei, or more correctly, Hillesøya, the outermost of the two islands. I got to see his camping from the seaside, laying there so perfectly solitary in between white beaches at the south side of Hillesøya. Halvard showed me some wildlife that you might not expect seeing at sea, and some that seem more in their natural habitat. He also showed me the island Hoya, which is said to be the inspiration behind the design of the Archdeacon Cathedral. Halvard has many stories to share, both from living on this island, but also from a busy life lived. He worked 24 years at a fishing factory, spent a whole year on a Norwegian island Svalbard far north, he worked one year as a bird counter on a research vessel, and worked with birds short term on both Iceland, Russia and Hungary. He spent 10 years as a Northern Lights guide in his own company and the past 3 years he's been running this camping. Seeing Somare from his point of view and with his knowledge about the wildlife and happenings here and there made a huge difference. Hello again guys and welcome to the future. It's officially the next morning. Last night just went away so quickly. I had a great time. I uh, went for the boat ride. Uh, we went for the sauna, I went for uh, swimming in the ocean like five times. It was the best time uh, and sometimes it's just not the not the best time to, to pick up your, your camera and like, hey, can I film this? Is this okay? Can I film this? Can I put it on YouTube for everyone to see? <laughs> so after the boat ride, I just deci decided to, to leave my uh, vlogging uh, self behind for a little bit and just enjoy the moment. But I still want to come back and show you on the map where I rode yesterday. So yesterday I woke up here next to that little lake. Then I made my way into Tromsø, which is here. And uh, that's also where I went to the, uh, the workshop, Eide Motorj. And then I made my way out all the way out to the coast here on Kvarlea to Sommare, where I am at the moment. So yeah, that was quite a quite a stunning ride. There's still clouds are hanging a little bit low, but uh, it's supposed to brighten up. 
throughout the day. So I have faith in that. The plan for today though is I'll, I'll cut this off uh, pretty much now uh, and then I'll continue the next episode after the weekend uh, leaving from Tromsø. Right now I'm uh, about to pack up and then I'll head into Tromsø where I'll be spending the weekend. Um, and since it's only going to be like an hour of backtracking, riding the exact same road, roads as I did yesterday, um, I don't want to, it's, yeah, no need to capture that on camera, I think. So I think I'll just pack down my filming equipment and have uh, an hour riding without it. That's so, it's so strange. Like every time I see something that's, uh, that I think is, is nice or I want to show you, it's like, oh, I want to film it. So riding without cameras, it's, it feels super strange. Like whenever I, I have like withdrawals, whenever I see something, I'm like, oh, oh shit, I can't film it. It's the strangest thing. But uh, yeah, I'll head into Tromsø and then I'll see you again after the weekend, I guess. So I hope you enjoyed this episode um, and I'll see you again in a couple days. Actually, never mind. I'm taking a different route back to Tromsø because I just remember that the other road was closed due to road work and they only opened like three times a day. And uh, that's uh, several hours away from now. So. I'm doing the, a different route, the outside of uh, this half island back to Tumsa, so I can't do that without showing you guys. So here's a few clips from the ride back to Tumsa. <laughs> close to Tromsø. My mission now is I want to find a location. Um, my mom and dad used to ride motorcycles when they were younger. My dad still rides but my mom also used to ride and she has a picture of her bike at the harbor here um, where you can see like the, the big church in the background that I talked about yes uh, yesterday. And I want to go and take a similar photo with my motorcycle, just because that's uh, I don't know. I think that would be that would be a cool memory to have, and it would be cool to show her. So I'm gonna try and find that location. All right, I think I'm here. I hate riding in the city. It makes me so confused. Da -da -da. We go. I think this is the closest I'll get. All right, guys, that was the mission of the day completed. So I'll head over to the hotel where I'm meeting my boyfriend in a few hours. Um, and yeah, I'll see you again soon.